Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jacob, and I hope you all have a fantastic day so far. Today, I got a really exciting for one for you today. This is a actual homemade fixture I made, and it's not the prettiest in the world, but it does do the job of emitting light, and it's old school. So here's the fixture right here. So I know what you're thinking. Everything's exposed. That's the look I was kind of going for, though. I was going for like the open wire exposed thing. I didn't want to go for like a super clean aesthetic. And as you can see, it uses three F4 T5s. Um, I wanted to go over something that kind of looked like the MS-104 from American Fluorescent back in the old days. So if we just, an overview real quick, this is a uh, just a painted 2x4 I used for the frame or the housing. And then the uh, the ballast, I, really, I think this is a GE ballast. There you go, you can read whatever you want on there. And um, I just ran it, it comes in right here, it goes through this tube, through this tube, and then out right here through the blue wire. And um, don't get your hopes up, this is not a real black ender, I just painted it black to make it look like a black ender. Um, this is a actual sunlight bulb. And I just took all the logos off on the bulbs to make them look clean. Um, and this is just a standard rotary switch that I glued to the 2x4. And yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. These are uh, cool light bulbs. It's about 4100K. 4100 Kelvin. If I go ahead and plug it in. So I'm dubbing this one the uh, the MS312. So three. So the, the MS104 stands for mini strip. The MS and MS104 stands for mini strip. And then the one stands for one bulb and then the four stands for a four watt bulb so they also make an ms106 and an ms108 with a six and eight watt bulb so i'm dubbing this one the ms312 so three bulbs 12 watts four times three so this is pretty cool nothing on the sides or the back the other side it's just a cool looking fixture to me if i go ahead and turn this this uh switch on we can go ahead, this one has like a really cool looking program start to it. I'll go ahead and turn it on now. Okay, maybe I, maybe I won't. What's the matter here? Well, this is embarrassing. Maybe I got a bulb backwards. I have no idea. These are really nice sockets too. If I if I show you guys these sockets, they're really super nice. They uh they turn obviously. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to show you that. I think this ballast does like over overdrive these bulbs. What the heck? If I swap these, this is the bad thing about having a uh, this kind of ballast configuration because if something like this happens, then all the bulbs don't work. Okay, I'm getting aggravated now. I got my box of bulbs right here. We're gonna grab three bulbs and we're gonna get this this sucker lit. Oh wait, it wasn't even okay. There it is. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm panicking over here over nothing. So anyway, now would be a good time to show you guys the bulbs. These are the bulbs. They're sunlight, sunlight F425 cool white. These are uh, these happen to be really reliable. That's the etch on them, or that's not even an etch actually. It's just like a. Uh, It's just like a, uh, a sticker because I can just I can just scratch it off with my finger. So anyway, there it is. If I go ahead and turn it off and zoom in on the bulbs themselves, you guys can see what I mean by program start. You saw it there. Oh. Okay. 
and we'll turn these lights off real quick and we'll go ahead and do it again as you can see just the ends are lit and then it it takes a second and starts up I'll go ahead and turn my my f-stop down so that way you guys can see that so check this out there you go you guys saw it there let's go ahead and turn the ISO down and do that again there you go you guys definitely saw it that time one more time there we go watch it three two one and that's the gist of it as you can see this middle one does have quite a bit of hours on it so yeah anywho that's that and I like I said I mean I, I think it's a cool looking fixture it's a cool looking piece um, the 2x4 really throws it off I wish I would have used something that was a little bit thinner but we'll go ahead and start it again we'll try to turn it on again and I'll hold it above the camera really nice looking light 4100k linear lamps to me just look the absolute best they look so good can't be replicated by LED anywho I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all like the fixture I made and I just put a, a power cord on it. I actually have a power cord right here it's just a, uh, a standard GE replacement lamp cord you can get these for like two bucks on uh, Amazon super cheap they go on sale all the time two bucks for eight feet and it's polarized so I pick them up whenever they're on sale Anywho, um, and these bulbs do get hot pretty quick. I think, like I said, I think this ballast overdrives them. Um, anywho, I'm going to take a shot every time I say anywho. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will see you on the next video. My name is Jacob. Have a great day. Peace.